Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Well, Craig, I'm staying on the ground. Well, that's for safety reasons. Well, I've just bought a new 2000 Toyota Sienna minivan. It's completely Y2K compatible. Are the roads going to be any safer? My Sienna is the safest minivan ever tested. Yeah, well, what if a plane smashes into you on the road? I hadn't considered that. Year 2000 Toyotas are now showing. See your paper for details. This message brought to you by your Y2K compatible Ontario Toyota dealers. Last summer, I took my family to the cottage. Which sounded something like this. Dad, are we there yet? But this summer, I'm taking the family to Palladium, where it's considerably faster. Drivers at your box, get set, go! That's right. Palladium has tons of cool interactive attractions like Tekken 3, Lost World, and Virtua Indy. Where I get my own Indy car and I speed down the track at full throttle, but don't disregard my family's safety as I move into second place with a sharp turn of my wheel, sadly knocking little Timmy into the wall of scar explosion with a thousand pieces, only to find his mother sticking up from behind because she underestimates my driving. She always underestimates my driving, but I'll show her. <laughs> so I slam on the brakes and her car hits my bumper, causing the ball and chain to spin out of control and hit the wall at 300 miles per hour. And for a brief fleeting moment, I'm single again. Come and celebrate Palladium's third anniversary by getting three hours of unlimited play for $22 all Labor Day weekend. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There's something for everyone. Next time, I think I'll invite the in-laws. Some conditions apply. Palladium across from Square One in Mississauga. From our Things You Need to Know file, Marilyn Monroe had six toes. Mm. How do they mean six as opposed to five or six as opposed to ten? That's right. Six as opposed to five, huh? We'll never know. She had, she had 12. She had 12 toes. <laughs> okay. Well done. Just asking. <laughs> Things you need to know tomorrow morning on Chum FM. Here's the Dennis Miller theme. Day 26. This is 104.5 Chum FM, Toronto. 8.30, now with the news, here's Jeff Howitt. Good morning. Chum FM satellite weather, sunny and 26 degrees mild. The forecast for today, sunny, 28 for tomorrow and on into the weekend as well. Right now it's 20 degrees. Pretty much a bad game all round for the Blue Jays. Rick Hodge with sports. Dan Turner has city view traffic. All northbound lanes are still blocked on the 400 at King Road. Good idea to exit at Major McKenzie or earlier and use Jane or Weston Road to get up to Aurora Road to rejoin the 400. The southbound 400 is slow through there, too, starting north of Aurora Road. The westbound 401 is heavy from Nielsen Road to Kennedy, from Bayview to Avenue Road, and from Dufferin on and off to Weston Road. The eastbound 401 heavy from the airport to about Keel. The southbound 404 Don Valley Parkway combination is slow from Finch down past Eglinton. The northbound parkway slowing from Eglinton up to the 401. The eastbound QEW is slow from Brant Street to Walker's Line and from Erin Mills to Dixie. The eastbound Gardner slowing from Royal York to about Strawn. This is Chum FM City View Traffic. And this is what's making news this morning. The accident on the 400 that Dan just talked about was triggered when a car ran into a stopped pickup truck. Happened before 7 this morning, northbound 400. The truck sitting in a lane of the highway at the time, northbound, north of King Road. The car then caught fire. Air ambulance landed at the scene. Two people have been taken to hospital. As you heard from Dan, it'll be two, maybe three hours as yet before the northbound 400 is reopened there. City of Toronto will formally request first contract arbitration today, hoping it helps avoid an outside worker's strike. They've voted 40 to 9 in favor of this idea after that emergency session yesterday. Mayor Mel Lastman urging both sides to continue their efforts to find a negotiated agreement before the 11th of the month, but the union says it'll no longer have enough time to work on negotiations because it's going to be too busy preparing a case to go before the arbitrator. Chum FM News Time is 8.32. Arrests have been made in two sex assault cases in the city. Toronto and Peel Police reporting an arrest in a case they called the Midnight Rapist case. Three times this year in Toronto and Mississauga, women were attacked after getting off transit buses. Happened on April the 3rd and then twice in July. Name of the suspects not been released. Officers, though, are crediting tips to crime stoppers. Meantime, an alert via rail employees being recommended for citation after a suspect in a Dundas Street assault last week was spotted on a Montreal-bound train yesterday. Yesterday morning, a warrant had been issued in the attack last Tuesday, and in the afternoon, Adam Stephen Davidson was spotted on the train. Police made an arrest in Dorval. A court appearance is scheduled in the city today for the man at the center of the infamous Airbus affair. The matter that prompted former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney to sue the federal government. Carl Heinz Schreiber was arrested last night at a hotel in the city. Not RCMP, say, connected to our Airbus at all, but instead he's being held on a tax evasion warrant issued in Germany. Business continues to be good at Eaton's. Ever since the liquidator started end-of-business sales last week, daily receipts have been anywhere from double to five times the norm. 
are going so well, in fact, they now think up to half the Eaton stores will be closed by the end of October, which is a month earlier than expected. Mike Harris is talking about something called Farm Fair. The Premier suggests welfare recipients in Ontario might benefit from doing a little work down on the farm. Early mornings, long hours, just the thing, the Premier thinks, to teach the value of hard work. There's been a passenger plane crash in Argentina. A Boeing 737 crashed after takeoff in Buenos Aires. Skidded across a highway, ended up on a golf course. 69 people were killed. In Nova Scotia today, a memorial service is to be held for the victims of the crash of Swiss Air Flight 111. That was a year ago tomorrow. Dennis, weak enough to be classed a tropical storm now, continues to lurk off the U.S. East Coast. Close enough that forecasters are issuing watches still for the Virginia coastline. They think that Dennis could turn left and strengthen. A survey out in time for the Labor Day weekend indicates many workers new to their careers are finding life is a little less than they'd hoped for. Jobs are low paying. There are few benefits and little chance of advancement. However, two-thirds of workers, 18 to 24, still believe you can get ahead and be successful with education and hard work. And word from Edmonton that the city's UFO society has closed its door because no one's seeing any anymore. Sightings have dropped off dramatically the past 10 to 12 years. It's 834. Sports is next on Chum FM. Why has Spence Diamond stood the test of time? Three reasons. One, we focus on doing our job better than others by giving you better selection, quality, and value. Second, we specialize in diamonds. We know our product inside out. And third, we offer the best written guarantee in the business. See Spence Diamonds and see how our specialized approach benefits you. Spence Diamonds, Canada's largest diamond showroom. 250 Shepherd Avenue East, near Young and the 401. Shop tonight till 9. At Office Place, the back-to-school savings have to be seen to be believed. Take home a two-pack of gel glue sticks from Borden for just 99 cents. Or pick up a Mead 5-star 1.5-inch zipper binder for only eleven ninety nine. And everyone needs Laurentian-colored pencils. Get a pack of 20 for just two forty nine. There's more great savings on pencils, pens, erasers, and math sets. Get everything for back-to-school. Visit one of the 12 Office Place stores in the greater Toronto area. See the yellow pages for the location nearest you. Office Place, lowest prices every day. Put up your dukes. It's sports time. Here's Rick Hodge. That's right, Jeff. They say we could have a war down at the lid tonight, and that wouldn't surprise me one little bit. The Twins wailed away on the Jays 14-3 to last night, and this was some kind of coyote day. Paul Spaljarek had just given up a three-run homer to put Minnesota up 12-0 to zip in the fourth inning, and so he goes a little too high and a little too inside on the next batter, Christian Guzman. Guzman blows a fuse, heads for the mound, and we get ourselves a bench-clearing brouhaha, something that Spaljarek may be suspended for. Now, this was an absolute mess from the get-go. Joey Hamilton giving up seven hits and five runs, pitching with a bad shoulder, and he may have to miss a couple of starts. Spall Jarek was dinged for six hits, but the seven runs he gave up were all unearned because of a Tony Fernandez error. And after the home run ball, Spall Jarek took to doing a little head hunting. He thought that was an order, although he does understand why Guzman went on the spin cycle. I would have gone out there, too. Uh, I didn't mean to come up that high. It, it just ball got away from me. I wanted to pitch him in and, and try to establish that I'm not going to let you dive out there. And after, you know, giving up seven runs, I want to put an end to it. Now, Peter Monroe gave up another seven hits, so the Twins ended up with 20 hits on the evening. But when you clear away all the garbage, the bottom line is that the Blue Jays have a starting rotation that's pretty much tapped out, and they have to make up five games on Boston now to bag the wild card. The Red Sox beat Kansas City 6-3 to to move another game up on the Jays. And Oakland was a 3-2 winner against the Yankees down in the Bronx, so they're just two behind Boston and three up on the Jays. By the way, Pat Borders is back in Toronto. He was the MVP of the 1992 World Series team. He was picked up on waivers yesterday. Other American League games, Tampa shutting down Baltimore 3-0. Cleveland got past Anaheim 14-12. Detroit over the Rangers 14-6. And Seattle stuck it to the White Sox 11-4. And the National, another home run for Sammy Sosa. He cranked number 55 on the year. The Cubs, a 7-3 loss to San Diego. Mark McGuire is holding at 51 nothing for him last night. And the Expos beat Arizona 2-1 despite the Diamondbacks. Randy Johnson coming up with 14 strikeouts. U.S. Open Tennis, Pete Sampras is bailed out of the tournament because of a bad back. He was trying to track down a record 13th grand. Grand Slam win. Also pulling out the number four men's seed, Patrick Rafter. On the women's side, Monica Sellis, Mary Pearson, Serena Williams were all winners. The Rafters have come to terms with Charles Oakley on a three-year deal worth $18 million. Dino Cicerelli retiring from the NHL after 19 years. And Jeff, the Maple Leafs just won't sound the same anymore. Public address announcer Paul Morris is retiring. He's been the in-house voice of the Buds since way back in 1961. We'll check the weather next on Chum FM. It's your turn, Grandpa. I know, I know. Let me just... Finish my yogurt. The great master of checkers needs his nourishment. Nourishment? Sure. 
Didn't you know that yogurt is good for you? I like yogurt. That's what's great about dairy foods like yogurt and cheese and ice cream. They're delicious and wholesome, too. Do you know what, Grandpa? What's that, son? Better get some more nourishment, because I'm winning the game. Enjoy two to four servings of milk products every day. So wholesome, so have some. If you've been a good driver, shouldn't you get a better deal on your car insurance? At Bel Air Direct, we believe your personal driving record should speak for itself. Why pay for other people's mistakes because of some statistic? So we're giving you a break by lowering our already low rates. Why pay more than you have to? Before renewing your car insurance, call 416-250-6363 for a quick quote. And get the rate you deserve. Bel Air Direct. Easy to understand, easy to afford. Chum FM, satellite weather. Latest analysis at 839. Sunshine through the day today and a high near 26 degrees. It'll be clear overnight down to 14. Tomorrow might start with some fog, but then a sunny day for the most part and back to 28. Mainly sunny and 28 is the forecast for Friday, Saturday, and for Sunday. UVB reading today should get to 7.3. That's high. It's 20 degrees. I'm Jeff Howitt with Roger Rick and Marilyn. Now here's Roger Ashby. Thank you, Jeff. Don't forget this weekend, the Jerry Lewis Telethon for muscular dystrophy and the Jerry Lee Lewis Telethon for alimony. They're both on this weekend. <laughs> R-E-M, Chum FM. People are calling, wanting to know, and I'm happy to tell you, Beat the Bank returns Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, with more money and more chances to win than ever before. Beat the Bank, Tuesday, Chum FM. 843, Sugar Ray. Today's best music, 104.5 Chum FM. That's Sugar Ray and every day at 847. Good morning. Roger, Rick, and Marilyn here with Shelly Fraser sitting in for Marilyn Dennis until next Tuesday when Marilyn returns. We've been talking about that bench-clearing brawl at the Jays game last night. I don't know. I, I don't remember ever seeing one at the Sky Dome before. First time for everything. Is this a first? I don't think so. At the no. Sky Dome? No. No. I don't know. It's been a long time anyway. Both benches cleared. They came running in from the bullpen. Every single player from both teams <laughs> ended up fighting all around the infield and on the pitcher's mound. They say the brawl was caused... Well, I watched the game, and it was because Spall, uh, Paul Spoljeric threw it uh, at uh, Christian Guzman. That'll do it. But I think the players just knew there were hockey scouts in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and thought, hey, now's our chance to audition. And you don't right? want to see relief pitchers running, do you? No, relief no, pitchers no, running no. from the bullpen. No. Well, they must is... have been on fire out there or something. <laughs> you you ever seen a relief pitcher run? No. Yeah, the, well, it was like calling in the fat cavalry. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't seen their feet in weeks. <laughs> 12 minutes to 9. Dan Turner for Bob Summers with Chum FM City View Traffic brought to you by Embassy Suites. All northbound lanes are still blocked. Roger on the 400 at King Road. Following a much earlier accident, it could be 10 or 11 o'clock before it's open again. The southbound 400 is still slow through there, too, starting north of Aurora Road. The westbound 401 still heavy from Nielsen Road to Kennedy, from Baby to Avenue Road, and from Keel now on and off to Weston Road. The eastbound 401 heavy from the airport to about Keel. The southbound 404 Dondale Parkway combination is slow from Finch down past Eglinton. The northbound Parkway slowing from Eglinton up to the 401. The eastbound QEW is still slow from Brant Street to Walker's Line and from Aaron Mills to Dixie. The eastbound Gardner slow from Royal York to about Strawn. There's a stalled car on the ramp from the northbound 410 to Derry. Meeting, conference, and seminar packages to suit all your needs. All at Embassy Suites Hotel, Toronto Markham.